Conquering the Count, Mastering English Cardinal Numbers 21 to 100. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another video in our series aimed at making English learning easier for you. Today we're going to delve into the world of cardinal numbers, specifically focusing on the numbers from 21 to 100. Even more specifically, we're going to tackle how to pronounce and spell these numbers. Remember, the key to learning a new language is practice, so don't hesitate to pause the video and repeat after me as many times as you need. Before we jump into the pronunciation and spelling, let's have a quick review. Cardinal numbers are what we use when we're counting quantities of something, like 21 apples, or 75 cars. They are different from ordinal numbers, which we use for ordering things, like first, second, and third. Today, we're all about the count, so we're focusing on those cardinal numbers. Let's now take a look at how to pronounce these cardinal numbers. In English, the pronunciation can sometimes be tricky, so we're going to break it down number by number, from 21 to 100. The numbers from 21 to 29 follow a pattern. You say the second digit first, followed by tie, and then the first digit. For example, 21 is pronounced as 21. This pattern continues up to 99. For example, 75 is pronounced as 75. Pay special attention to numbers that may sound similar, especially those ending in teen and tie. For instance, it's important to distinguish between 13 and 30, 14 and 40, etc. A good tip to remember is that teen numbers are generally stressed on the second syllable, 13, while tie numbers are stressed on the first syllable, 30. Now, let's go over the spelling of these numbers. For most of these numbers, you simply write the tens place followed by a hyphen and then the ones place. For instance, 21 is spelled 21. There are some exceptions, though. The numbers from 30 up are written as one word with no hyphen. For example, 45 is spelled 45. There you have it, friends. That's the rundown on pronouncing and spelling English cardinal numbers from 21 to 100. Remember to practice regularly, and these numbers will soon roll off your tongue as naturally as your native language. Keep learning, keep growing, and, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. We're here to help. Until our next lesson, Happy counting.